Hey Run Junkies, welcome back to Runners Without Limits TV. And you know what? I have been at this YouTube thing for almost five years. So many of you have been following me along the way, whether it's from day one or you're just getting here today. And if that's the case, please like and subscribe because today I am paying it forward in honor of that five year journey here on YouTube with five new and smaller YouTube creators that I've been watching lately. If you've been around for a while, you probably know all of the usual suspects that I mention from time to time here on this channel, certainly if you've been around for a few years now. But every week I see new channels pop up and new recommendations on YouTube of people who are putting themselves out there and sharing their running journeys, maybe even for the first and time. And that is a scary thing. I know because I've been there, it's a very vulnerable feeling to kind of put yourself out there and share your journey. The channels I'm sharing with you today are either new to YouTube, meaning that they've started within the last year or so, or they are smaller channels. They're sitting under that 1,000 1, subscriber mark. I think that's pretty much the case with all of these, that they are newer and they are smaller. So while these channels are in no particular order, many of these channels are created by my friends and personal acquaintances of mine or I have discovered them through the magic of the YouTube algorithm. The links I'm leaving in the description are to specific videos from each of these channels, kind of those that really speak to me as a runner and as a YouTube creator, and those that I think you might enjoy as well as sort of a first glimpse into each of these channels. So let's get started with Estrella Contreras. She is a dear friend and fellow Run Disney fan. She's also known as Fairytale Runner on Instagram. Estrella and I met at a recent Run Disney event weekend. Don't ask me which one because they all run together at this point. And she has offered up Run Disney recaps in the last year. However, currently on her YouTube channel, she is documenting her Orange Theory fitness journey. She is now participating in the Transformation Challenge. She has an incredibly heartwarming story to tell. She is strong, she is capable, and I love her story. I hope you check her out. Next channel I want to tell you about is The Average Running Guy. I met him at Not Wine and Dine weekend back in 2020, not very long ago. And one thing I have to say about the pandemic is how it has brought this Run Disney family closer together. And I have met more and more people through this community over the last few years than I think I ever would have met otherwise. Jeremy, The Average Running Guy, is a running dad and he, along with his wife Valerie, also have a podcast. I'm going to leave links to both of those in the description. Jeremy is a great guy and he's really fun to watch. I hope you take the time to check out his channel. Run Ryan Run is a new vlogger. He just started this year in 2021 and he's documenting his journey to the Dopey Challenge in 2022. Now Ryan has a special place in my heart because he is a fellow Coloradan. He is a parent. And I will say his videos are beautifully crafted. He hit this video creation game hard with GoPros and drone shots and slow and all kinds of great stuff. I mean, even the lighting that he has in his in his gym, in his studio when he's recording, it's just, it's spot on. And yeah, I think what I really enjoy is seeing someone tackle Dopey and I really am looking forward to following his journey. So I hope you head over there and support him on that journey to Dopey in 22. The next channel I wanna talk about is Miles from India. This woman's smile is absolutely infectious. She is positive, she has so much energy, and boy howdy does she work hard. She shares videos documenting her own journey, but she also shares a lot of insights into being a runner that I think a lot of us need to hear. Those videos include workouts and tips, but she also kind of tackles the misconceptions that a lot of new runners have about what it means to be a runner. She believes that we as runners can afford to be more transparent and, and share the ups and the downs. I mean, I'm all for that. I hope you check her out. She's a lot of fun. And now for medals and tiaras. I had the pleasure of meeting Jerrica at Not Wine and Dine in 2020 down at Walt Disney World, and it was an absolute pleasure. Jerrica's been on Instagram for quite a bit, but she's leaning into this YouTube channel a little bit more, sharing her tips and tricks and lessons learned. Much of what she's sharing feels familiar to me personally because that's where I started. I made a lot of mistakes early in this running journey 
Academy and she is sharing those same types of lessons that all new runners probably need to hear. Her stories like many of us and how a lot of us get started. It's not a script that can be pre-written. It's one that writes itself as you go. And I think that's the beautiful thing is that each of us have a running journey to share and this one is hers. I hope you check her out. Okay, I have one honorable mention because this channel has been around for a few years now. However, Laura from Laura Runs and Eats recently took a YouTube break and now she is back at it. She's making her comeback. She's also been teaching a lot of online workout classes, fitness classes. She's got Pilates, she's got yoga, she's got bar, and she's been keeping a lot of athletes really her strong. Her face lights up a room, her energy is infectious, and while she has been around now for a few years, she's kind of sitting under that four digit subscriber level, level, so I'm making it my personal mission to get her up over a thousand subscribers. So I hope you head over there, check her out. She's absolutely amazing. But guys, that is my list of newer and smaller YouTube channels. I hope you take the time, head over to each one of these channels and support them on their journeys the same way you've supported me online. Over the course of this five year YouTube journey, I've had a couple of lucky breaks, but really it's because of you supporting me through all of this time and I just wanna pay it forward. My question for you today is this, have you followed any one of these channels and if so, which ones? Or do you have any suggestions for other videos for me to check out or maybe even your own? Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Until then, remember you have no limits. So happy running.